Good morning, Eagles, and welcome back to the Talon Weekly. I'm your host, Tessa Cheshire. And I'm your co-host, Audrey Neal. To start us off, let's take a look at today's weather with David Hale. Welcome back to Thunder and Hail. I'm your host, David Hale. Let's go look at the weather. You know, this past week we didn't see much precipitation and we didn't see much um, much going on in our atmosphere. There's a lot of clear skies and good weather for the most part. But this week we're gonna see some precipitation later in the week. So today the high is at 69 and the low is around 45 and it's gonna cool down quite a bit this week uh, as we get further into the week. So we'll start off in the uh, low 60s and we'll go down into the high 50s mid 50s um, and then overnight it'll get all the way down to the mid 30s but for the most part this week we won't see too much precipitation there's a chance of rain on sunday of this upcoming week and then once again there's a 30 percent chance of rain on friday so there's some chance of storms we'll see throughout this week so we'll watch those thanks david Several Eagles are part of CEC's EMT program and have been adapting to partaking in the program during the pandemic. I joined the EMT program because I've always been really interested in medicine and I felt like it was a good step to my career path. I took the pre-med program last year at CEC and that really helped me with this class. Last year we did a lot of anatomy and physiology and this year I'm really I'm applying what I learned from last year. They have a very strict uh, COVID policy. Before we go in, we have to fill out the symptom form and take our temperature. But every other Thursday, we go to CEC to do a hands-on lab. And when we're at CEC, we have obviously safety precautions that we have to follow. I think that if you do want to go into a medical field, you should take some prerequisite classes now in high school so that way you can get the feel for if you really want to go into the medical field if you really want to pursue that. I joined the EMT program because um, it looked like a good opportunity for me to help and contribute to my community. I mean it's just it's just like really good to see uh, a bunch of people and be in a hands-on setting because a lot of the labs we do have to be hands-on. Um, it is kind of interesting though, we do have to wear uh, masks and shields and gowns and gloves at all times. So um, it's definitely a little bit weird, but um, it's better than nothing, so I enjoy it. It's a good opportunity for a lot of people to get college credit. So the EMT class, for example, is dual credit. So I get 11 college credit hours and it counts as three electives. And so like I'll get guaranteed a job at Presbyterian um, if I want to go on with that. So each class kind of has its benefits, and I think EMT has some pretty good benefits, and I just took advantage of that. And now here's a story about Jonna Ray Luera and her service dog, Tao. Jonna Ray Luera is a senior at El Dorado. She's had her service dog, Tao, for three years now. I'm glad I got him when I did. He's tasked for seizure alert, which is one, and anxiety. There are also rules Jonna and Tao need to follow while at school. I cannot take off his vest. People cannot pet him unless I bring him off duty, which is when I take off his vest so people can pet him. That's the only time. Many students do try to pet Tao while he's on duty. Uh, they ask, they're like, hey, can I pet Tao? And I'm like, sorry, the vest is still on, maybe lunch or something when he's on break. All students need a break and that applies for Tao as well. It's been shown that those dogs also need a break. As humans, we need a break from work. We need a lunch break. So like them, it shortens their lifespan, actually, if they don't have a break every once in a while. Finally, here's our fun fact of the day with Vivian Jones. Hi, this is Vivian Jones, and your fun fact of the day is that cats have a peripheral vision of 285 degrees. Thanks, Vivian. As always, if you have any interesting stories or good news to share, please contact us. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at EHS Tal Nagila. Thanks for watching, Eagles. Have a happy Friday.